Hi Taurus, these are messages from your person for April the 2nd through April the 5th, 2024. Universal energies, show me what I need to see for the partner of the star sign of Taurus for April the 2nd through April the 5th, 2024. Universal energies, show me what I need to see for the partner of the star sign of Taurus for April the 2nd through April the 5th, 2024. Universal energies, show me what I need to see for the partner of the star sign of Taurus for April the 2nd through April the 5th, 2024. Show me. You guys, subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. If this does not resonate with you, check your moon, rising, and Venus sign videos. I do not read reversals. If you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at herimmortalmajesty at gmail.com. Thank you guys for supporting this channel. The details are in the description. Taurus, these are messages from your person. So Taurus, your partner has the four swords. Your partner has the hermit. Your partner has the ace of swords. Your partner has the sun. And your partner has the magician. So Taurus, your partner has the four swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is your partner taking a break, resting, recovering, meditating, praying, recharging their crystals. So Taurus, your partner could tell me that you guys are on a break. Your partner could tell me that they're trying to recover or they're meditating on something here. Clarify the four swords for Taurus's partner. Clarify the four swords for Taurus's partner. Clarify the four of swords for Taurus's partner. It is clarified with the Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, or Sag. This queen is a very fiery, feisty, bold, and confident energy. Someone who handles their business with a lot of passion, effort, and energy. Could be dealing with this Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, or someone with fire prominent in their chart. However, your partner could be taking on the energy of this Queen of Wands. And a queen of wands is someone who's highly motivated, a self-starter, someone who gets things done and makes things happen with a lot of passion. So you could be dealing with a fire sign or your partner is wanting to take action. Clarify the queen of wands for Taurus's partner. Clarify the queen of wands for Taurus's partner. Clarify the queen of wands for Taurus's partner. It is clarified with the Six of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is balance, equality, reciprocity, equal give and take. This is matching the efforts, energy, time, love, patience, resources, and responsibilities in a relationship. This is balance, but this can also speak to the merchant giving to two, being generous and giving to two. This is also a payout card, a gifting someone card, assisting someone card. So Taurus, your partner could tell me that something is off balance here. Something could be off balance with the giving and receiving. They may be giving something here, receiving something here. Or your partner's telling me that someone was giving more, somewhere else giving to two. Taurus, your partner could tell me that they're meditating on maybe giving you something here, bringing balance. Your partner could tell me that you're trying to give to them or give them a token of love and they're meditating on it. Taurus, your partner could tell me that someone was giving more, someone else giving to two, and you guys are on a break here. Hmm. Taurus, your partner has the hermit. Could be dealing with a Virgo, but right now your partner's taking some time out to be alone, to do some soul searching, introspection, searching their inner man for wisdom and guidance, going within, looking for answers. Could be dealing with a Virgo, but your partner could tell me that, hey, I just need some me time. Your partner could tell me that they're doing some heavy duty soul searching or they went on a solo search looking for something. Clarify the hermit for Taurus's partner. Clarify the hermit for Taurus's partner. Clarify the hermit for Taurus's partner. 
It is clarified with the devil. Could be dealing with a Capricorn. But this devil energy can speak of a toxic energy that is looming over you guys' relationship. And what makes it toxic is this restrictive and binding. Someone may be obsessive, possessive, controlling, abusive. Someone may have an addiction to sex, drugs, drinking, smoking, working too much, money, attention, gambling, sports, video games, eating too much. Anything that a person does too much of. Or someone here is in a full-blown relationship somewhere else causing this toxic energy to loom over you guys' relationship. So Taurus could be dealing with a Capricorn. But when we're dealing with this devil energy, this can speak of something being toxic, restrictive, and binding. This can speak of a legal binding contract. But also temptation. Clarify the devil for Taurus' partner. Clarify the devil for Taurus' partner. Yes, that just happened. Sorry, Taurus. All the cards just flew out of my hand. I clarify the devil for Taurus' partner. Clarify the devil for Taurus' partner. Clarify the devil for Taurus' partner. It is clarified with justice. Could be dealing with a Libra, but your partner may be calling for karmic justice, saying, you know what? I'm a good person. I put good out there. I'm just expecting that good to return to me. Or your partner saying that someone did me so wrong and so dirty, I'm calling for karmic justice. I want them to get exactly what they deserve. Or your partner's dealing with something in the justice system. So Taurus could be dealing with a Libra, but your partner could tell me that, hey, something isn't fair, something isn't balanced, something isn't just. Your partner could tell me that someone wants to come in and right a wrong and bring justice to a situation. Or they're dealing with something in the justice system. Clarify justice for Taurus' partner. Clarify justice for Taurus' partner. Clarify justice for Taurus' partner. It is clarified with the Empress. This is you, Taurus, or Libra. The Empress signifies beauty, fertility, creativity, nurturing energy, love, abundance, growth, and development. This is a pregnant woman. She is symbolic of the Mother Earth. She takes the seed of something and nurtures it so that it grows abundantly. So, Taurus, this is you. Clarify the Empress for Taurus's partner. Clarify the Empress. For Taurus's partner. What does Taurus's partner think of Taurus? What does Taurus's partner think of Taurus? Clarify the Empress. For Taurus's partner. It is clarified with the Ten of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is financial success and abundance. This is where two people come together in a long-standing committed relationship, joining together their assets and resources to build something to pass down from generation to generation, creating a legacy. So we're speaking of marriage, commitment, home, family, assets, resources, property, inheritance, legacy. So listen, Taurus, I asked, what does your partner think of you? This can be about money, assets, resources, abundance. Very well could be that someone has commitment on the brain. But in tarot, tens are ending, so it could be an ending to you guys' commitment, marriage, living together situation, or family dynamics. Now, Taurus, listen, is it your partner thinking long and hard about maybe some type of legal binding contract, maybe in the justice system concerning these coins, because something is off balance here with the giving and receiving? Taurus, your partner could tell me that they're thinking long and hard about some type of legal binding contract to maybe go into commitment. Maybe they want to give you bling bling shiny thing or you're giving them bling bling shiny thing. Taurus, your partner could tell me that they're thinking long and hard about maybe taking something to the justice system for a legal separation or divorce and ending things because it's toxic. Someone could have been giving more somewhere else giving to two. Taurus, your partner has the Ace of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is truth. This is clarity. This is communication. Now, this could be the sword of decision, the sword of victory. But this could also be the sword that one reels to sever a relationship. So, Taurus, your partner could tell me that you guys are having this communication. Your partner could tell me that they've come into some truth and clarity. Your partner could tell me that they're making a decision or using this sword to sever. 
Clarify the Ace of Swords for Taurus's partner. Clarify the Ace of Swords for Taurus's partner. Clarify the Ace of Swords for Taurus's partner. Three of Wands, Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is your partner waiting, waiting for their ships to come in, waiting for what they set their intentions towards to manifest. Now, this is also a card of your partner looking to see what else is out there, looking to expand. So, Taurus, listen, your partner could tell me that they're waiting. Your partner could tell me that their ships are here. Your partner could tell me that they're looking to see what else is out there, looking to expand or even travel. Now, Taurus, listen, your partner could tell me that you guys had some type of communication concerning they were something they were expecting here. Is it these coins and they're feeling shortchanged? Taurus, your partner could tell me that some type of truth and clarity is out here, okay? And they're having to make a decision. Maybe they're waiting to make this decision, Taurus, or they're deciding to look to see what else is out there. Or maybe they're just waiting to make a decision because you could be giving them something here. Or they could want to give you something here. And maybe waiting to communicate this. Taurus, your partner has the sun. Could be dealing with a Leo. But the sun symbolizes exuberance, illumination, happiness, joy, peace, love, abundance, growth and development and freedom. Could be dealing with a Leo. But your partner could tell me that I'm happy. I want to be happy. I'm over the moon. Or something was illuminated. Something came to light. Clarify the sun. For Taurus's partner. Clarify the sun for Taurus's partner. Clarify the sun for Taurus's partner. It is clarified with Ace of Wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is a brand new, passionate, creative endeavor. Now, this can be the spark of a new idea. This can be some type of exciting, passionate communication, exciting, passionate action. But this one is symbolic of the male phallic and using the male phallic to be intimate. So brand new, passionate beginnings. So Taurus, listen, your partner could tell me that they have the spark of a new idea, could be initiating something here. This can be passionate communication, romantic passion, or a heated discussion or argument, or starting a passionate new beginning. Now Taurus, listen, your partner could tell me that they want to be happy, and so they want to initiate something here. They may be thinking on giving you something, Taurus. Taurus, your partner could tell me that something was illuminated, something came to light, and you guys had some type of heated discussion or argument. This is the reason why you're on a break, and it very well could be over the coins. Taurus, your partner could tell me that something was illuminated, something came to light about someone starting a passionate new beginning here, making it toxic that someone was giving more, someone else giving to two. Taurus, your partner has the magician. Could be dealing with an Aquarius, but your partner's trying to manifest, trying to make something happen. And they have all the tools and resources available to them to manifest whatsoever they will. They have the earth element, the water element, the air element, the fire element, and the ethers. So with great focus and intent, they can manifest. <clears throat> Could be dealing with an Aquarius, but your partner's trying to make something happen here, Taurus. Clarify the magician for Taurus's partner. Clarify the magician for Taurus's partner. Clarify the magician for Taurus's partner. It is clarified with the Ace of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is a brand new opportunity of something more solid, stable, and secure coming into your partner. Now, this can be an offer for an invite out for dinner in a movie. This can be about making things more committed. This can be about a lump sum of money, a job offer, a raise, a promotion, a bonus, <laughs> a large ticket item purchase, a new home, a new car, a token of love, a gift, anything of value, brand new practical beginnings. So, Taurus, listen. <laughs> Some type of offer of practicality, money, assets, resources, property, accepting a gift, giving a gift, going out on a date, or commitment. Now, Taurus, your partner could be trying to manifest commitment from you or coming in to offer you commitment, Taurus. But what I kept giggling about is, B, better have my money. I don't know if they're trying to manifest getting these coins because they're being shortchanged here, Taurus. <laughs> but I think they have commitment on the brain, okay? Either you're giving to them, bling, bling, shiny thing, or they're wanting to give to you, but they're waiting to make this decision either way, okay? 
I'm going to take a look at the Twin Flames exposed for your partner, Taurus. You guys, thank you so much for supporting the channel. The links are in the description. If you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at herimmortalmajesty at gmail.com. And your partner says, I can't sleep. I'm having a hard time dealing with this. I can't sleep. I'm having a hard time dealing with this, Taurus. Goodness. Your partner is also saying from the Hidden Truth Oracle. <clears throat> I left when I saw you with someone. I left when I saw you with someone. I can't sleep. I'm having a hard time with this, Taurus. I'm going to also take a look at the Lover's Oracle for both you and your partner. And it says, Balance. Love is not always about agreeing just for the sake of it. A great relationship is one that both supports and challenges. Balance. Love is not always about agreeing just for the sake of it. A great relationship is one that both supports and challenges. Child. Taurus. These are the messages from your person for April 2nd through April the 5th, 2024. You got us. Give me feedback. Subscribe, like, comment, and share. And follow me on TikTok, Twitter, and Instagram. And I'll see you guys next week. Peace.